Automatic gas liquid separator to stop liquids from entering the vacuum pump. To install it, begin by attaching a filter cup to the separator. Ensure that the arrow on the filter cup points away from the separator. And then tighten it clockwise. Connect the vacuum pump to the top inlet of the auto gas liquid separator using a 12 millimeter hose. Attach the filter cup to the vacuum chuck. The automatic gas liquid separator should be connected to a 220 volt power supply. Turn on the vacuum pump and test the suction effect. Placing a hollow aluminum alloy sheet against it and tapping it with a hammer if there's no looseness and the suction is normal. Traditionally, manual liquid discharge tanks were used to prevent coolants from entering the vacuum pump. Requiring periodic manual drainage. However, with this automatic gas liquid separator, manual drainage is no longer necessary and the process 1T cause pressure drops. Keep an eye on the filter cup. It needs regular cleaning to prevent excessive debris buildup, which could affect the pumping efficiency. For a visual demonstration, partially open the vacuum chuck switch to the self-cleaning position. Sprinkle some water and simulate coolant being drawn into the vacuum shut. Note that in actual use, the automatic gas liquid separator typically performs automatic drainage every 5 to 7 minutes. No additional settings are required. It adapts the drainage cycle automatically. The separator can handle drainage for up to three vacuum chucks simultaneously. Feel free to place the automatic gas liquid separator on the machining center's sink to save space. This small size saves a lot of space. Just ensure it stands vertically and isn't placed flat or at a severe angle. If you have any further questions or need clarification, feel free to discuss it in the comments section.